Welcome to this pre-study video presentation prior to the NORDEFCO United Nations Logistic Course. This presentation is one of five short presentations that all are mandatory before applying on the online digital training. Those of you who has completed the online digital training may apply to the one-week advanced United Nations Logistic Course in Nordefic in Oslo, Norway. Please find more information at our webpage, nordefic.no. After this introduction, you should be able to recall the United Nations basic history, the United Nations headquarters with its main organization, the General Assembly and the Security Council, the Secretariat with the Department of Operational Support and the permanent missions. The United Nations is an intergovernmental organization that aims to maintain international peace and security, develop friendly relations among nations, achieve international cooperation, and be a center for harmonizing actions of nations. It is the largest, most familiar, most internationally represented and most powerful intergovernmental organization in the world. The United Nations is headquartered on international territory in New York, with its other main offices in Geneva, Nairobi, Vienna and The Hague. The United Nations Charter was signed the 26th of June 1945 by the representatives of 51 countries. The United Nations officially came into existence on the 24th of October 1945 when the Charter had been ratified by China, France, the Soviet Union, the United Kingdom, the United States and by a majority of other signatures. United Nations Day is celebrated on the 24th of October each year and the United Nations consists today of 193 member states. The United Nations is built on six pillars. The General Assembly, the Security Council, the Economic and Social Council and the Trusteeship Council. The United Nations Secretariat and the International Court of Law. All member states send delegates to the General Assembly and the three councils. The Secretariat consists of staff, civilian, military and police who support the General Assembly and the three councils and investigate and implement tasks and or political or military missions on behalf of all United Nations member states. The International Court of Law is the only one of the six pillars that is located outside New York. The court is in Den Haag in the Netherlands. Each United Nations member state has a permanent mission led by an ambassador located in New York. The permanent mission is the point of contact between the United Nations and the member state's government. The permanent mission represents its country in the General Assembly and in the three councils. The member state's permanent mission is not a part of or co-located with either the United Nations building or the Secretariat. All costs related to the permanent mission is the individual country's responsibility. In addition to the three councils, the General Assembly is divided into six committees that work with different aspects of international peace and security. The General Assembly has its meetings normally in the fall and before the summer. Each member state has one vote. The six committees works the whole year. The Security Council has 
the responsibility for maintenance of international peace and security. It has 15 members and each member has one vote. Under the Charter of the United Nations, all member states are obligated to comply with the Council's decisions. The Council has five mem permanent members, China, France, Russian Federation, the United Kingdom and the United States. And ten non-permanent members elected for two years terms by the General Assembly. The five permanent members has veto vote. As depicted on this slide, the United Nations system consists of or supports a huge number of varieties of departments and offices, subsidiary organs, funds and programs, research and trainings. On the United Nations web pages, you will find updated information on all these organs. The United Nations Secretariat is led by the Secretary General, appointed by the General Assembly. The Secretary consists of several departments. We will here only mention three of them. Department of Political and Peacebuilding Affairs, with emphasis on peacebuilding. Together with the Department of Peace Operations, they are responsible for all political and military missions the United Nations conduct all over the world. The department that is responsible for logistics is the Department of Operational Support. The Department of Operational Support is for us logisticians the most important department. Even if the department has many divisions and different tasks, we will here only mention the three most important divisions from a troop or police contributor's point of view. The Health Management, Safety and Health Division is responsible for all aspects of the medical support in the field, regulations, capabilities, equipment, etc. The Logistic Division is responsible for end-to-end -end supply chain planning and monitoring, support to operations in sourcing and delivery planning, strategic movement of uniformed personnel and equipment, and management of aviation assets. The Uniformed Capabilities Support Division is responsible for processing of reimbursement to troop police contributors, personnel, equipment, self-sustainment, oversight of the contingent on equipment framework and other policies and procedures for the equipment verification and control, preparation of memorandum of understanding for military and police contingents, liaison with contributing countries and support for policy forums. We will in other pre-study presentations look closer into the Uniform Capability Support Division's responsibilities and how they are connected to the troop police contributors. Some facts from the United Nations peacekeeping operations. On behalf of the member states, the United Nations has huge tasks and responsibilities all over the world. We have in this presentation introduced you to the United Nations organization and structure. Key takeaway, the United Nations is a member state driven organization. The member state's permanent mission is not a part of or co-located with either the United Nations building or the Secretariat. Thank you for following this presentation.